I'm going to be trying to game on a Chromebook. And no, I'm not joking. I did actually try and run games on a Chromebook without using any cloud gaming software like NVIDIA GeForce Now. When we talk about gaming on a Chromebook, the first thing that comes to mind is the sheer lack of processing power. They're really not designed to run high-end applications or games. The processors are often underpowered, the RAM's limited, and the storage space is measly. So the Chromebook that we're going to be trying gaming on is this Acer Chromebook with an Intel Celeron N4000 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of storage. Now, I obviously didn't buy this Chromebook. I borrowed it from my friends over at Sustainable Tech for Good. Made sure to go check them out. But with all that said, I believe I can pull off gaming on a Chromebook. I really don't make things easy for myself, do I? Yeah, this is definitely going to be a challenge, but let's start with Minecraft. Since I made my last video on a Chromebook, there is now an official version of Minecraft for Chrome OS. So I decided to try that out, but I was in for a surprise. Nine pound, what? Since when was Minecraft so much? That is quite a lot really for what it is. Well, I guess this is the easiest way to get Minecraft running on Chrome OS. You guys better like and subscribe because I'm spending nine pound 49 on this video already. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to do it. Hopefully it's good. After spending all my money on a game that I already own, I went straight into the Minecraft world. Here we go, Minecraft is working on Chrome OS, sort of. So we've got fancy graphics, beautiful skies, clouds. Oh wow, frame rate's actually on unlimited. I thought that would be capped to the max, like 60 FPS or something, but no. We have got six render distance, which I believe is turned down. Oh, it is laggy. It is very laggy. Now we can't get an FPS counter on Minecraft Bedrock or even a third party one, because I don't think Chrome OS supports anything like that. So we're gonna have to use the FPS counter, which is built into my eyes, and work out what frames we're getting. I would say 60 FPS, but I'd say probably a 40, 40 to 60 FPS, I'd say, because when we load in new stuff, we get massive lag spikes. Okay, my built-in FPS counter may not be the most accurate. It's basically a ported version of Minecraft for mobile, so, I was just about to say it should run no problem, but we just got a massive lag spike there, which isn't great really. So since Minecraft for Chrome OS is basically just Minecraft Bedrock Edition, we have got the Minecraft Marketplace. Now I've actually gone ahead and made a texture pack that's on the Minecraft Marketplace. My new one is called Lightning PVP, and it will be released on Tuesday the 29th of October. So here's what the pack looks like in game. As you can see, we've got a lovely red themed custom sky, We've got short swords, obviously, because it's a PvP pack. We've got bow indicators as well. So when you pull back the bow, as you can see, it goes different colors. We've got a lightning themed shield and armor. I think this is the best part of the pack, honestly. As you can see, it's very flash themed, lightning themed, whatever. And I think it looks really cool. Now this pack is also available in three different versions. We've got the red one here, but we've also got a green one and a blue version as well. So you're basically getting three packs in one here. Obviously being a marketplace pack, everything's made custom. So the blocks, items, mobs, I had to make it all. It was very hard work. It's taken me about a year to do this, honestly. Make sure to go check it out on the marketplace. It's very cheap and uh, yeah, it definitely helps me out if you guys purchase this. And surprisingly, this low-end Chromebook actually runs this texture pack really well. So I think it's good for low-end PCs as well. Anyway, let's do some more testing on this Chromebook. So then I decided to try and play Minecraft Java Edition on this Chromebook, a process that took me very long in my last video. However, the process was a lot easier this time due to an app called Pojav Launcher. If you guys don't know what Pojav Launcher is, it's one of my most popular videos on my channel, but it essentially allows you to play Minecraft Java Edition on an Android phone. And since we've pretty much got Android app capability on Chrome OS now, we can get Pojav Launcher installed on here and actually play Minecraft Java Edition probably really well as well. Now straight away, this does feel like an Android app within Chrome OS, but that's no problem. We want to ensure the best possible performance on this Chromebook. And I reckon with Pojav Launcher, we might be able to pull it off. Minecraft 1.21.1 Java Edition running on a Chromebook through Pojav Launcher. Let's try and play. I reckon performance is going to be terrible, but we'll see. It's actually running on this Chromebook. Very laggy, I mean, look at this. 
just looking around feels very choppy. I've just installed Optifine, which will allow us just to look at the FPS so we can get a rough idea of how it performs. Okay, so what about our FPS? So the FPS we're getting is not great, really. It's about 19 to 20 FPS, which isn't great. But bear in mind, this is the latest version of Minecraft. Our settings are pretty much on the lowest because I think that's just what Pojav Launcher sets for us. Let's see how it runs Minecraft 1.8.9. Then we'll maybe try a super flat world and see what the maximum FPS we can get out of this Chromebook. But before we do any of that, here's me telling you about our sponsor, NordPass. How many times have you forgotten a password? Whether it's logging into a work account, managing passwords within a team, or simply resetting yet another password, managing them all can feel impossible. Now, a lot of people keep their passwords written down on notepads, and most of the time they are very weak passwords, like password123. It might seem harmless, but these inconsistent password practices can cause serious security risks for businesses. This is where NordPass comes in. Instead of using easy to guess passwords or reusing the same ones, NordPass keeps them all organized, secure in one place. You don't need to remember a million passwords because it does it all for you. Plus it makes sure all passwords are actually strong and unique. Did you know that people waste 11 hours per year resetting passwords? Well, with NordPass, you won't need to because all your passwords are there for you in your own secure password vault. NordPass doesn't just help secure your accounts, it can also keep your team organized and saves lots of time by cutting out all those random login issues and with full visibility from your IT team who can easily monitor who has access to what. And when signing up to new accounts, it automatically checks that the passwords meet complexity standards, so there's no weak link in your security chain. So if you're ready to boost productivity and take back control of your passwords, definitely give NordPass a try. Head over to nordpass.com slash notredan and use the code notredan for a free three month trial of the NordPass business plan and secure your passwords the right way. Thank you to NordPass for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. So we just spawned into a world here and as you can see, or you probably can't see on the video, but the FPS is about 20 to 26 FPS, which isn't the best really. Now, we have got Optifine, so we can throw down some video settings. It's not great, really, is it? Like, these are the kind of levels that the Windows XP laptop was hitting on 1.8.9. If you guys have watched that video, make sure to go check it out on the top right. A Chromebook, a modern-day Chromebook, performs about the same as a Windows XP laptop on Minecraft 1.8.9. Wow, these laptops really are trash, aren't they? Okay, so this is a super flat world. What FPS can we get if we sort of look down here? Maybe go in the void. I'm pretty sure we're capped at like 30 FPS, you know. There's, I haven't seen it any higher than that. And I'm sure it probably could do it, but then again, Chromebooks aren't the best computers in the world. We have to play in small windowed mode as well. There's no way to make this any bigger than it is. Oh, and perfect timing. My game's just crashed. All right, I think it's time to take things to the next level with this Chromebook. Now, the real letdown from this otherwise low-spec laptop is Chrome OS. Chrome OS is really not designed for running games or heavy software on. It relies on the cloud for pretty much everything, whether that be Google Docs, YouTube, Google Drive for storage, or even cloud gaming through GeForce Now. But I was determined not to follow the other YouTubers and install GeForce Now. But what if we loaded a completely different operating system altogether onto here? Will it even allow us to? Well, yeah, but it's a bit complicated. If you've got a work or school Chromebook, please don't try this. We're going to be trying to install Windows on this Chromebook. To install Windows on a Chromebook, there are a few things we need to do. The first one is to enable developer mode, which will completely reset the Chromebook back to factory settings. The next step was to disable Write Protect. Write Protect is a feature in Chromebooks that stops you from modifying certain parts of the internal storage. It's basically a security measure to prevent tampering with the core operating system. However, since we're trying to install Windows here, we need to turn this off to give us full control over the system and allow a custom firmware to be installed. To do this, you may need to remove a write protect screw on the motherboards 
or in my case, I had to remove the bottom panel and disconnect the battery, meaning that I could only use the Chromebook plugged in to disable write protect. After I'd done that, it was a case of just executing some commands in the developer mode terminal. Shout out to Mr. Chromebox for making this process so easy. After that, I finally got a boot picker on startup and from there, I was able to select my Windows USB drive and get Windows installed. So if you're wondering what a Chromebook running Windows 10 looks like, ta-da! So how well does Windows run on a Chromebook? Sure, the slow dual-core CPU is on 100% a lot of the time, but for general tasks, it handled them pretty well. But how does it game on Windows? Well, not very well. I tried to install a few lightweight Steam games, but... And we've crashed. The next day, I installed some more Steam games and tried to optimize Windows using the Chris Titus tool, optimizing every Windows setting I could find, as I would do for a super low-end PC. But CSGO crashed. Axiom Soccer crashed. Frost Runner crashed. Fortnite crashed. Well, at least I tried. However, the only game I could get to run was Minecraft. All right, so here is Minecraft on the Chromebook. So we're on 1.8.9 with the video settings pretty much on the lowest possible. And these are the FPS. I thought we just crashed there, but we didn't. I just pressed the search button for some reason. This is really bad, actually. When we load in new chunks, the FPS just tanks. It's so bad. This is the kind of performance you can expect on a Chromebook if you install Windows on it and try and play Minecraft. This is not good. Let's try 1.21. Well, here we are on Minecraft 1.21. On the Chromebook, I've thrown down the video settings because if we try and play on anything more than that, we literally get zero FPS. So the performance, it's all right, actually. We get about 50 FPS, but as soon as we try and load in new chunks or try and move around, our FPS just drops significantly. Look at this. Yeah, we just dropped to like six FPS there. If we go into the task manager here, look at this. We're basically maxing out our CPU right now. Our memory's at like 87%. Yeah, this poor little dual core Intel Celeron processor is really getting it right now. Look at this. But yeah, I don't think it's doable really. I think if you want to run Minecraft on a Chromebook, your best bet is either getting the official version from the Google Play Store or maybe trying Pojab Launcher. But yeah, if you want to install Windows 10 to play Minecraft on your Chromebook, then you pretty